All right, so I just filmed this entire video, was importing the footage, peeled off my lashes, was living my life, getting comfy, and then realized I totally forgot to film the intro. False lashes are back on. We are here. It's that kind of day. So last week I filmed a whole video just like this, brand new drugstore product, First Impressions. There is so much out at the drugstore right now. If you missed that video, I'm gonna put it in the eye, which is on this side. But I actually found tons of new products at Fred Meyer a couple days ago. So I asked you guys on Snapchat if you wanted to see another one, and you did. And these are some of my favorite videos to film. I love trying out new drugstore makeup. I'm also doing a wear test in this video so you guys will actually see how it wears throughout the day. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. It'll notify you every time I put up a new video. If you are already a part of the Bayrito fam, make sure you turn on the notifications. If you click the little bell by the subscribe button, it'll notify you every time I upload. You never know when YouTube just doesn't want to put your video in someone's feed. So if you want to be notified when my videos go live, make sure you have the bell notifications turned on. Also, very exciting. We have new audio in this video. It should be a whole other world compared to what it was before. I got a new mic. It's on a tripod. It's fancy. Hopefully you can't hear the background noise as much or the echo. I have a feeling it's going to be good. So fingers crossed. I'm hungry. All right, let's get into the video. There's construction going on right now and someone is moving in. So let's pin back the hair. I have already washed and moisturized my face, but I haven't primed because I have a primer that we're gonna try out. Got my Jack in the Box Ice Mocha, my new addiction. Sometimes they make them better than others. Sir, you made a fine ice mocha this morning. So like I probably told you in the intro, there was tons of new Physicians Formula stuff that I haven't seen anything about yet. This is the Physicians Formula Insta Ready face primer. It says it's a mattifying primer with SPF 18, breathable, non-greasy, absorbs instantly, extends makeup wear, and the person is coming back. Let's put this primer on. When I bought this, I was actually thinking it was a stick, but it is not. It is a pump. So it looks like a clear silicone kind of consistency. Let's go ahead. What is this scent? It smells like paint. Yeah, it smells like house paint, literally. Oh, that's bad. Whoa, it feels really nice and smooth though. It doesn't feel super silicone. It feels a little bit more lightweight, but it doesn't feel greasy. My face feels like a baby's butt right now. Hopefully you can't hear the beeping outside. So next is this Physicians Formula Cushion Primer. It says Corrector Primer Yellow Green. So the yellow is supposed to correct dark circles and dullness and the green is supposed to correct redness. So packaging looks like their other cushion foundation, which I do have a whole review on. And there's a $9 off rebate on here, which is pretty good. I think I picked the noisiest day possible to try and film this. So here's what the packaging looks like. Super cute. You open this up like a normal cushion product. So on the box, it says this is supposed to basically be a color correcting primer. So you could use this without primer technically. So I'm gonna use the green color on some of my acne and redness, and then maybe we'll try a little bit of the yellow under my eyes. I rarely, rarely, and by rarely, I mean almost never use color corrector. I'm gonna go in with this Brushworks brush. It's just like a tiny little thing. And let's go in with the green. So this has a really light green color. The idea with color correcting is that you're theoretically supposed to have to use less foundation or concealer on top of it because you've already neutralized the area. I don't really color correct because I like more full coverage foundations anyway that it usually just covers it and it's kind of an unnecessary step. But if you wanna use less product or less coverage foundation, color correctors could be helpful for you. I think it's slightly neutralizing. I'm gonna go in with that yellow now. Let's use a little bit of this under the eyes. So for foundation, I'm not doing a product that I haven't tried out before. I'm actually gonna do a combo of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in porcelain with the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. Again, like the other video, if I don't have a brand new release to try out and do like a first impression on, I'm just gonna use other drugstore products. I haven't tried out these two together before, so we shall see. This is a new foundation. I have a full Foundation Friday video on this. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe E31 brush. With this one layer, I'm getting pretty much almost full coverage. It's not covering some of my acne spots, but this guy just wants to chill today. Okay, so this I am super curious to try. This is new from, again, Physicians Formula. This is a, it says it's a full coverage concealer. So I'm excited. This is the InstaReady full coverage concealer and it has a freaking sponge. Oh, I thought it was attached. It actually just comes with a sponge, so that's kind of cool. I thought it was gonna be a weird contraption with a sponge on the top. So I have the lightest shade Fair. Physicians Formula concealers and foundations tend to run pretty dark. So I do have 
a backup. In case it's way too dark, I have the NYX Lavender Concealer here. This is an awesome drugstore concealer for lightening your concealer. I like this better than a lot of white concealers I've tried. The formula is great, it's full coverage. It's really hard to find light drugstore concealers, so if you need to lighten it, use this guy. I used to always talk about that product in my videos and I haven't mentioned it in a while. I'm gonna wet this thing and we're gonna try it. Guacamole towel for the win. That didn't get a whole lot bigger. It is nice and squishy. Okay, so it actually looks like the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. The packaging looks super similar to that. I am just gonna squirt some out on my finger and use my fingers to apply underneath the eyes. If it ever comes out of here. Oh, I think we're getting somewhere. Watch it squirt out right when I do this. Oh yeah, it's coming. I feel it. Try this guy out. Ooh, ooh. Feels super nice and creamy. Definitely too dark for my skin tone, so I'm gonna have to add some of that NYX on top. Um, heck yeah. Very moisturizing. Just like the MAC Pro Longwear, it is difficult to get a tiny bit out. It kind of just goes everywhere. My skin tone, this isn't doing any lightening at all. I actually think I could use this to kind of spot conceal on the rest of my face. It looks pretty full coverage to me. <laughs> if you have a darker skin tone than I do, I am feeling this concealer. I'm gonna actually use a tiny bit more to spot conceal on the rest of my face, just some areas that the foundation didn't totally cover and I'm gonna use this sponge because I totally just forgot to use it. I'm actually gonna take the rounder side and just spot conceal a little bit. So to brighten up the under eyes a little bit, I am gonna take some of that NYX lavender. Usually I mix this in with my concealer a little bit but this will work fine. Okay, not a fan of the sponge for under the eyes. I'm gonna use my normal stargazer powder to set my under eyes so that'll help brighten everything up and make it look more even. Ooh, I have a new one here. So next I'm gonna try out this Wet n Wild brand new powder. I finally found this, thank you Fred Meyer. I've been on the hunt for this and the concealer for forever. I still haven't been able to find the concealer, but we got the powder. So this comes in eight shades. There were only four shades on the display I had. Luckily, they had the lightest shade, which is 821E Warm Light. This whole photo focus line is supposed to be good for photography, selfies, flash photography, everything. Going in with my Morphe E52 brush. Let's see what you got. I don't usually use this brush for powder, but I left mine at home. I think it's a little bit dark, but what I usually do is mix my foundation a tiny bit lighter so that when I put on a pressed powder, if I know I'm gonna be using one, it'll darken it to be my skin tone. Don't really have a whole lot of thoughts on the powder. With the foundation combo I used, this doesn't look like anything spectacular. In the last video, I used the new L'Oreal brow pomade, so today I'm gonna switch it up and use my Ardell Dark Brown Brow Pomade. This is one of my favorite brow products. I've used quite a bit of this. So brows are on. I'm gonna prime my eyes using the Catrice Prime and Fine Brightening Eye Primer. I've used this a couple times before. I should have probably done this before I put on my face products, but that's okay. Okay, so this I was super excited to see. This is new by Essence, and you can find Essence at Ulta or at Fred Meyer. This shade right here looks like it could be a really nice, fair, contour shade, so we're gonna give this a go. There's a couple of shimmery shades. This one looks like a highlight, and then this one, if you have a deeper skin tone, you could use that as a highlight. Not too orangey. I feel like I was on a contour and bronzer drought for a while, like I couldn't find one that I really liked, and lately, I have a ton. And the contour video is coming. I know I've said that for like weeks now. I have a legitimate reason. I couldn't find for the life of me one of the products, so I had to reorder it. So I'm waiting for it to come in. And then as soon as it comes in, I'm filming that video. Blends out really nice and easily too. So this is from Bronx Colors, which is a new line carried at Ulta. It's online only right now. I tried out their foundation in the other video. This is in the shade it doesn't say on here. This looks a little intense for my skin tone. It looked a little bit different online. So I might just use a super light hand with this. I'm gonna use my Morphe Y5 brush. I'm literally just lightly tapping. It looks a little bit patchy to me. So for a highlight, I am gonna try this shade because I don't have any other new ones to try right now from the drugstore. I tested out the new Physicians Formula Trio Highlight Contour. <laughs> In the last video, I love that one. If you want a very, very intense highlight, I'm taking the Morphe M510 brush. Looks a little bit glittery. Yeah, and it's totally emphasizing the texture. Not a huge fan of this one. It's actually looking better on camera. In real life, this is totally emphasizing all of my pores right here. So before we go on to eyes, I'm gonna set the face. I actually found two brand new setting sprays. The first is the 
Physicians Formula Insta Ready, and then the second one is Milani Make It Last. I'm really drawn to this packaging for some reason. It looks like a nice frosted glass bottle, even though it's plastic, I'm pretty sure, yeah. This one says you can use it as a skin prep before makeup, as a setting spray, or as a misting spray to stay throughout the day and refresh the skin. I kinda wanna try this one. I like how I told myself I'm not buying any more setting sprays because I literally have an entire drawer dedicated to setting sprays. I go through them though. Actually, I'm gonna test the mister first. Mmm, smells good. Ooh, it smells like perfume. Oh my god, I think that's the best smelling setting spray I've ever smelled. And it did have a really nice fine mist to it. Okay, I do actually feel like it helped kind of settle some of the powder into my skin. My foundation looks a little bit smoother now. Milani, you need to make this into a perfume. For eyeshadow, I am super excited because ColourPop came out with new single eyeshadows. I have a few single ones here and then I have a couple of their pre-made palettes, I guess. Technically, you can't find ColourPop at the drugstore, but it's drugstore pricing, if not more affordable. And the single shadows are now available on their website. I haven't played around with any. I've only swatched this one, which felt beautiful. And a bunch of you on Snapchat wanted to see these in action. I didn't wanna do a full video on all of them yet because I have them all in these things and I need to order another Z palette to put them in. So this one is called Low Key. And then this palette is called High Maintenance. So I'm actually gonna start out by taking that same contour shade that we used. With me right now, I don't have a ColourPop transition shade that's light enough. I'm gonna use that same M511 brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here in the low key palette. I'm not sure how much these shadows are retailing for. It didn't say on the card in the package, but they are releasing January 13th. So by the time you guys see this video, they'll be live. So I'll put the price down below in the description box. <gasps> that felt like butter. These are super soft. This is from the high maintenance palette. Kind of want to go in with this rose gold copper shade. This looks super pretty. I'm going to go in with this single shade called nine using Morphe E17. The pigmentation of these and how they're blending out is reminding me of the Anastasia modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to go in with the shade tiger single shade, which looks a little bit similar to that first one we used, just a little bit more yellow, mustard yellow. I'm gonna use that same brush, wipe it off a little bit, and then go in with this yellow shade to blend. Ooh, I like this shade. My heart rate just sped up. I wanna go in with this rose gold shade because this is too pretty. If I don't have nails on, usually I just go in with my middle finger to apply lid shades because you just get the best color payoff with your finger. But since I have nails on, I'm going in with this brush. This is the Coastal Sense BRS. What is this? BRCS20. This is my favorite brush for going in with lid color. If I do use a brush, I feel like it applies it the best, but I usually still go over it with my finger afterwards, but I just place it with this first. Holy shitsies. I hope this is picking up on camera. All right, ColourPop officially killing it with these shadows. I'm gonna go back in with a tiny bit more of that brown shade just to blend into that. I'm gonna take Tiger and blend that on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take a dab of that brown shade again and blend this mostly on the outer third. Color pop, you done good. I'm debating if I wanna do liner or just go in with these lashes. These are the Kiss Faux Mink Collection in Midnight. These are brand new, I showed these in the other video as well. I kinda wanna go in with these, but if we're doing a full day wear test, I'm gonna have to peel these off in a couple hours because my eyes just can't hang with falsies all day. I'm just gonna do a thin coat of mascara before applying falsies. Word to the wise, don't use this Revlon Lash Glue. This sucks. This took literally 20 minutes longer than needed to put on false lashes. They're more intense on the outer half, so it just makes your eyes look really nice and open. So for lipstick, I wanna try out the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit. I think I've tried one of these a while ago, the dark red shade. I think I actually did it in a shadow and schmooze. I'm not sure if they just released more shades or if I tried a different one. Maybe I tried a different one. But this is in the shade Rebel Rose. Doesn't smell the greatest, smells like chemicals. Whoa, this is very rose. It feels nice and moisturizing going on. The wand is a little bit frayed, so you don't get that super clean line. It's almost like feathering a little bit. I do really like this shade and it feels nice and moisturizing. It doesn't feel like it's totally dried down yet and it's been about a minute. Yeah, it's still transferring a little bit. So I am going to 
keep my face on and see how all of these wear throughout the day. It's not gonna be a super long wear test like normal because I'm going to a thing tonight and I'm gonna to need to take all of this off. But I'm gonna try and keep it on until about five probably. It is now 11.30, so we should still get about five, six hours of wear. But I wanna tell you what I'm liking just based off of first impressions. Milani setting spray, the smell of this, you need to just go smell it. We'll see how it holds up throughout the day. The Physicians Formula Concealer, my under eyes look really nice and smooth right now. There's not any creasing happening. The way that this blended on is so creamy, but full coverage. I feel like this is gonna be a lot of people's new favorite drugstore concealer. If this was light enough for me, I would be all over this. What else did I really like? Oh, the Essence Contour product. Like that shade a lot. The ColourPop eyeshadows. Yes, you need to try them. Off of first impressions, really feeling the ColourPop shadows. I think they're beautiful. I think those are my main wowed by products right now. We'll see how everything wears throughout the day. I will check back in with you guys in a few hours. Okay, so it's now 5.23, so everything has been on for pretty much, I think six hours. I think the check-in was at 11.30. I haven't touched anything up. I've eaten, I'm back in the room. I have to take all this off because I'm about to shower and get ready for tonight. Let's talk about how everything is looking. So six hours obviously isn't a super long wear test. I usually do about 10 hours if I can, but better than nothing. So I ate soup and toast and coffee. And as you can see, it has worn off a lot on the center, especially because I wasn't really eating any oily foods. It doesn't feel like it totally dries down to me. This whole day it's felt kind of sticky. I don't know, I feel like I'm not enjoying this liquid lipstick as much as a lot of people are. It just doesn't feel totally comfortable to me because I can feel it on my lips. It doesn't feel nearly as drying as the Jordana one, but I actually prefer the Jordana one to this. And I also don't like the applicator, how it was kind of frayed. I found it difficult to get a really clean line. Face products is obviously difficult to pick apart what's really doing what because I tried a new primer, setting spray, and foundation combo. But my face, I think, looks pretty good six hours in. No major oil yet. And my concealer under my eyes also looks good still. A little bit of creasing, but I usually get that nothing major at all. Physicians Formula, please come out with a lighter shade because that concealer is beautiful. I'd say if you're about an NC20 in MAC or above, that shade of concealer could work for you. I obviously peeled off my lashes, but eyeshadow has totally held up, looks exactly the same to me. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you found it helpful, make sure you give this a thumbs up. I'm gonna go hop in the shower and get ready and take off my leopard on leopard right now. That's how I roll. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.